Hey everybody! So to celebrate uh, our final James Bond review, for at least for the time being, because as we all know, James Bond will return, uh, I'm going to make a Vesper Martini for you. Uh, now there is one concession in the Vesper Martini, and is that I have to substitute a Lilith Blanc as the Lilith um, that they, that uh, Jan and Craig mentions in Casino Royale hasn't been made in over 50 years, so we have to substitute with something. Uh, but this is a sweet martini, uh, and I look forward to, uh, I mainly just look forward to drinking it. So, here's what we do. We are going to take three ounces of Gordon's gin. And if you can't tell the, the aspect ratio here, this is the ounce and a half side of my jigger. And I just ran out of gin, so perfect. One ounce of vodka. This is stateside urban craft vodka from Federal Distilling in uh, uh, Pennsylvania. One ounce of that. There we go. And then a half ounce, give or take, of our Lilith Blanc. Now, uh, I've already put the ice into the shaker, so um, make sure that it's nice and cold. Uh, you do want to shake this until it is ice cold. I've got my special Disney martini glass waiting because this wouldn't be geek salad if it weren't for that. So I'm going to shake this up a little bit more. Get nice and cold. You can tell that just from the shaker. Let's serve it up. Bring that camera in close so we can see the mm -hmm. see the final results here. Oh, this is gonna taste so good. It's almost all booze. In fact, it is all booze. All right, so that is not done yet because we need one more thing, and that is a twist of lemon. There are no olives in my martini, and that is the Vesper Martini. Go forth, be nerdful, and cheers. See you in a little bit.